Hey, it's Spence from WP Launch Club with your WordPress tip of the day. Today, I've got a use of our very own Launch Flows plugin for one of our customers that is a common vertical. She is a massage therapist. Actually, I can highly recommend her. Her name is Shauna, and she's over at Holistic Ways. And if you're in the Chicagoland area, look her up. Nevertheless, as one of our clients, we helped her to revitalize her website and her automated systems. One of the things that she needed was a way as a catch-all to take a custom payment from a customer via credit card or debit card, PayPal, etc. Since we've set her up with our other standard stack of WordPress as a service, we've added in a very simple feature that's part of launch flows. That's the custom capability. Let me show you how it works and how easy it is to set up because this can be used for any number of instant payments, whether it's from a customer or for freelance work or even just to receive money from friends and family into your business account. Here we've got a page where, as I'll show you, we are able to take any number of dollars and cents, $131.52. When we click checkout, it will be directly sent to the custom checkout that allows the person to pay with whatever card they have on file. Here I've got the amount. I can apply a gift code. I can use the current visa. Ta-da, really simple. If they change their mind, they can start over. It's just as easy as that. Better yet, it only takes a minute to set up when using our Launch Flows plugin. Currently, Launch Flows is available for just $50 a year for sites, but it's going into this WordPress as a service model. So if you like, you can get the very same setup I'm showing you here as a ready to use site for whatever your business or course ideas may be. All we have to do is use the, uh, in this case, Gutenberg block for Launch Flows Donate. Then we put in the parameter of 2316, which happens to be the very same product page that I'm on. So what I did is I just had created a WooCommerce product. I told it that it was a virtual product. If I want, I can make it downloadable so it will automatically check out without being held. And then I went ahead and added the information of just $1. Now, if you put zero, that's fine too. But by putting in $1, you're short of have at least something in there when they get to the checkout, even if they put the wrong amount. Next, it's very important that I went over here to the launch flows parameters and I used the launch flows blank template option. That means that the only thing that's going to show up on the product page is going to be just this custom uh, output instead of the normal product details. And just to clean up the page to make sure it didn't have any of the WooCommerce upsell or other default layouts, I used the instant clean sales page option. Now, one of the things that can also be useful is the solo checkout option. Just in case the customer has other things in the cart at the time, we might want to make it that they can only buy this uh, custom payment while they're doing the checkout instead of having some other things to remove. And that's it. It's as simple as setting it up, and then we've got the output on the page ready for the customer to use whenever they go to the, in this case, the pay link. You can also customize, by the way, the URL you use because this is a standard WooCommerce product. So I can put it at any URL that makes sense in my memory or that of my customer. This is Spence. I'll see you on the next video.